Hello everybody, Storm here. Welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, we made one last push in Tartarus before heading out for the day. And then we came out here, we did some work with uh, Elizabeth to knock out some requests, did some fusion. Then we need to make another Siegfried, because we didn't quite get exactly what we need there, but we'll work on that. Then we're working on uh, social links, so that is what we're going to keep on doing. So for tonight, we're going to be heading, uh, hanging out with Mutatsu, so let's do that. He's tower, right? Yes. Huh? All right. Yep, we'll spend time with him. Jeez. I bet people say you're a pretty weird guy, huh? Well, that ain't a bad thing. All right. Our relationship will grow stronger soon. Hey, the exam results are up. You should be top of the class. I scored the highest in my grade. Everyone is looking at me with respect. I'll think of it. Mitsuru promised to give me a gift if I scored well. Yeah, we'll go ahead and talk to her at some point. It becomes this. All right, then round up like this, and the answer is x equals one. Hmm? Isn't it? Oh, I see. This becomes eleven, so x equals two. Hang on, what? Okay, uh, your assignment is to figure this one out. Anyway, wasn't that fun? Numbers are so interesting. Even with a difficult problem like this one, once it's solved, it becomes such a simple concept. Our entire reality is made up of numbers. Civilization owes its very existence to math. And then all right, Arashikun, you seem like a math fan. Here's a question for you. We use the number zero a lot. Do you know where it originally came from, though? Not offhand. India. All right. Not that I need to answer these correctly anymore. That's right, you must really be a math fan. Isn't it fascinating how someone just up and conceived the concept of emptiness one day? Thus, with the birth of the zero, all of mathematics took an enormous leap forward. Uh, the beauty and wonderful wonder of it all. Math is magnificent. All right, that's done for today. What's happening with my score? All that studying I did during summer vacation paid off. Well behaved student. Phew, what a relief. I didn't do too badly, but my scores will never go up if I don't take things more seriously. I'm gonna study as soon as I get home. All right, well, Puka is there. Meets the super fan. I've been thinking, normally if someone is hurt somewhere, they'll bring in someone new, right? That means if anyone in the student council is hurt, I might have a chance to get in. Hey, what's that look? You act like I'm a criminal or something. Not that bad. Uh, I'll get her without any cheating. Alright, let's talk to Mitsuru. Oh. Ah, uh, Arashi. No exam results. Good work. Here, this is from the chairman. Excellent. It, it's a reward for effectively balancing schoolwork as well as our extracurricular activities. Bunch of incense. Pendant of Unity. Mm -hmm. 
Shift boost. Raises attack when the wearer is on the receiving end of a shift. I mean, that's nice. Uh, actually, I should probably go ahead and use it because what well, I'm using right now is not that useful. And we're always shifting to the main character. So. Oh, that's right. Um, Elizabeth wants to hang out. Luca still won't rank up? Or do you even hang out with her at all? Uh, I don't know. All right, well, let's uh, hang out Good with Elizabeth day. first. Here are my requests. Right, let's hang out. My. I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting for you to ask. Shall I be on our way? Gekukan High School, a place of learning. It's quite a shock that such a warm, illustrious institution transforms into Tartarus every night. Do you know that girl? Oh dear, what a conundrum! Everyone here seems to have a predetermined form of attire. I fear I may draw too much attention. I hope this won't pose a problem. Uh, don't worry. Understood. I shall heed your advice. Now then, excuse me as I make myself less conspicuous. Hmm. <laughs> Can I hide behind me? If I stay hidden from view this way, then there won't be a problem, correct? Now then, the school awaits. This is a pleasant surprise. To think there would be a bastion of commerce within a house of academia. Could you please wait here for a moment? There's something I've been curious about for a while. Excuse me, I would like to purchase a school lunch. Um, sorry? Uh, they don't sell that here. They don't deal in school lunches here? How disappointing. I would have liked a taste of this school lunch, as it is a rare delicacy only served in select facilities. Well, in that case, I shall order some bread. I've heard that having bread for lunch is part of the school experience. Now that I've checked that off the list, let us proceed. As for where I'd like to go next, shall we visit your homeroom? So this is a classroom. With so many students and desks, it's no wonder there's hardly any space between them. But perhaps... Ah, I see. It's designed this way to foster a sense of harmony between classmates. I can sense the care put into this arrangement. This observation post must be what they call a podium. Hmm, interesting. When I stand here, I do feel a longing to teach well up inside of me. <gasps> First question. Between diet food and super diet food, which is more delicious? Uh, super diet food? That is correct. As a reward for giving the correct answer. You shall receive your own portion of super diet food. Okay, then. 
Is this what a classroom lecture is like? The quizzical stairs are beginning to make me feel unsettled. Let us carry on with the tour. This humanoid figure... Oh, that's a sculptor. Did they seal him inside the plaster to prevent him from escaping? I imagine it would be quite cramped in there. Oh, no, 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 that's the still life that they are. Truth be uh, told, anything. I do have some experience playing the piano. You do? Are you familiar with the Velvet Song? Velvet, oh, Velvet, my master has a long nose. All together now. <laughs> nice jump. Experiencing student life for myself today has broadened my perspective of your world. I'd very much appreciate it if you could accompany me again sometime. <sighs> to be honest, I don't entirely understand my own motives for coming here. But as I walked closely with you, I... How should I express this? felt very fulfilled. Perhaps what I really wanted to learn at school was more about you. But why? In any case, discovering the reason for this desire will surely serve as an intriguing diversion. Let us return now. Thank you once again for acting as my guide. All right. Return to the velvet room with Elizabeth, and... Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the results. All right, thank you for taking me around, Kekoken. Hi, I am slowly coming to understand while being there lifted by spirits. No. Kekoken isn't just a part of your world. It's a place where you spend a great deal of time on a daily basis. It's a place saturated with your presence. That's why I... Mm. Well, I'll set that aside for another now. Time. There's more that I need to consider. Please take this as a reward. Sorcerer's Mark. Okay. Very well. Invigorate 2. Where's a little bit of SP each turn? I'm gonna give that to you, Yukari. All right. Priestess. Don't have a priestess. to get her finished off. I would really want to have the right persona.
Welcome to the Velvet Room. Now then, let's be... Well then, shall we take a look? I can make this would not. be a wise choice. This is your progress so far. Uh, you know what? Orca just summon an ox. There Please we go. Take a look. So you'll be some may it be your inner strength. There we go. Very well. We look It's level appropriate. And it's free. this book the other day. Right. Alright, our relationship will grow stronger soon. Excellent. Oh, welcome back. I'm back. Your exams are over, right? We decided to go to Tartarus I want to go to. I promise I'll do everything I can. I'll be fighting for him too. Well, we already did that, so... Right, there's nothing of interesting on the news. Nothing interesting on the news. Um, well, that's chat. Um, have you seen the exam results? Mine actually weren't as bad as I thought they'd be, but I feel like I could have done much better. I realize that I'm still stewing over all sorts of things. I have to keep it together. Excuse I guess. Me. I perform satisfactorily in chemistry and mathematics, but I perform poorly in other subjects. But since I specialize in combat, these results are not unexpected. Junpei. pay. Phew, no Fs. Now I don't have to go to Aragaki-san's grave and tell him I failed. Well, that's a motivation, I guess. Mm. Uh, I guess-san says she didn't do so well on her exams. Maybe some academic specs had to be sacrificed to make her over-specialized in combat? Hmm, I guess robots have their own share of problems too, huh? Ikari? Okay. Well, the exam results have been posted. Now that we don't have that hanging over our heads anymore, let's focus on Tartarus. The next operation will be our last one, so let's put all our, our all into preparing for it. Oh, I doubt it's going to be the last one. I can go. How are your results in the exams? Mine were the usual. Well, we can't be wasting time worrying about exam results right now. Our priority should be to train as much as we can for the final battle. Mitsuru wants to hang out. Alright, well, we don't have anything else to do. So we can hang out with somebody. Buy some SP drinks. So yeah, let's hang out with Mitsuru. Salut. If you're not too busy, would you care to join me, Arashi? Actually, I'd love to hear your opinion on this one book. Mitsuru might gain a new ability soon. Excellent. Let's read together. In that case... Alright, I'll go grab that book for you. I see you're reading a biography of the Empress Dowager from the Qing Dynasty. 
Interesting. By many accounts, she was vilified as a ruthless despot during her reign. Then again, these kinds of stories are known to stretch the truth. Oh, pardon me. I'm getting ahead of myself. I should let you read first. The book recounts one woman's rise to power. It seems she led a turbulent life marked by cunning and backdoor politics. Academics have improved. Not that I need it anymore. Reading this actually made me think. What is the right way for a person to rule? Too much kindness and you'll be seen as weak. Sometimes a ruler needs to be harsh. Even so, I imagine the Empress Dowager's final years must have been lonely, given that she was feared by her people. What do you think? A ruler is responsible for the lives of many others. Is it difficult for someone like that to find happiness like everyone else? Hmm. Homely. <laughs> you certainly don't mince words, but I can see the point you're making. I could stand to learn a thing or two from you. You're our leader, after all. You know, thanks to you, I've been able to sit down and reflect on a reading for the first time in a while. It really does help to have a partner going through the same book as you. Being able to discuss the material allows us to broaden our horizons even further. Alright, Mitsuru seems satisfied with our reading. Ailment burst. Raises critical rate on foes with ailments. With Mitsuru in battle. Such storied figures are often only written about after their passing, but surely sparks of their greatness could have been seen long before. Sometimes, I find myself thinking you have that same potential. You're exaggerating. <laughs> Am I? I'd like to say I'm a fairly good judge of character. In other words, I have faith in your abilities. I hope you're up to the task. Oh, it's gotten late. We'd best turn in for the evening. Let's have another reading session here in the future. But for now, have a good night. All right, time for class. I know you've been busy lately, but you all remember to do your homework, right? Just because you're not taking a humanities class next year doesn't mean you can blow off classic lit. Hey, are you all listening to me? What's wrong, Fuka? You look kind of down. Huh? Talk to me. What's bothering you? Are you in the middle of class? It's just... Aragaki senpai Oh. Yeah, it's pretty shocking. I'd never seen him in school, but he'd always be hanging around town. And now he's just... Gone. It's hard to put it into words. I took it for granted that everyone would always be around. That nothing would ever change. But... Some things you can never get back. I didn't consider how easily it could happen. Once I realized that... I started thinking about my parents. I've sort of been avoiding the question, but... Is it okay for me to leave things with them like this? Parents, huh? Yeah, that's a tough one. But I think you'll work it out, Fuka. Moriyama, what are you waiting for? Come on up. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Would it kill you to give your classmates a proper goodbye? Huh? What's going on? Hmm? Um, hi everyone. I know I haven't been here that long, but I feel like I've made some good friends. I'll remember each and every one of you after I transfer. Thank you all. How's that? Uh, wait. Transfer? What? Hmm. 
Lunchtime. You're a weird one, you know that? The biggest bitch in school is leaving and you're gonna miss her? You're transferring and you didn't say anything? It's not like it would have made a difference. Why make us both depressed? But yeah, my dad suddenly collapsed. And they say it'll take a while for him to recover because of some complications. We don't really have that much money, so we can't afford to stay in this area. <sighs> you know, now that I think about it, you're the only one who bothered being friends with a weirdo like me. But like I said before, we're both in the same boat. My parents act like I don't even exist. I hate living with them. That's why I was so jealous when you moved into the dorm. That's Kichan. You know, you've really changed, Fuka. You're a lot more cheerful now. But why'd you move when your house is like right here? Huh? Well, um. If you don't want to say, that's okay. I'm sure you've got your reasons. But if it's something that you and your parents can work out, then do it while you have a chance. It'll be a while before my dad's in any condition for us to have a heart to heart. <sighs> what am I doing? This isn't what I wanted to talk about. You know, Fuka, I used to think every day was just the same depressing routine. And I'm only saying this because it's you, but. You don't really get many second chances in life. Natsuki-chan. <sighs> I guess this is the last time I'll see this view. I won't be in school next week because I'll be packing, so... I guess this is goodbye. No! <laughs> don't you dare come see me off. I want to say goodbye on my own terms. <sighs> Come on, don't give me that look. But you're leaving so suddenly. Hey, I'm not all broken up about this, just so you know. I've changed a lot since I met you. I'm gonna try and figure out what I really want to do with my life. I know you can do it, Natsuki-chan. <laughs> Well, now I really feel like I gotta do it. No pressure, right? No. I got one last thing I want to say before I go. If you just accept the way things are, then you'll never move forward. Just like me. <sighs> so I hope you can figure out what you want, too. What I want? I... Uh, I used to try and please everyone just to fit in. I was afraid of not being liked. So, I always went along with the people around me. But I never really thought about what I wanted. <laughs> That's so you. Well, if they don't like you for who you are, I say screw them. But... I like you, Fuka. Even if you hate yourself. Natsuki-chan. Well, I better get going. Huh? Uh. Huh? Natsuki-chan? Here. Even if we're apart, we're still connected, so we can always talk, right? Thanks for being my friend. I'm kind of tearing up now. Natsuki-chan. Even if we're apart, we're still connected. <laughs> I get it now, Natsuki-chan. I'd always assumed my powers were a reflection of my faults. I was always worried about how other people see me, and that's why my powers let me see others. But I guess there is something I want after all. Seeing everyone getting along and working together makes me so happy. So 
I want us to treasure this forever. I have the power to connect people, even when they're apart. My persona has given me this amazing gift. The friendship I've always wanted. Alright, second awakening. Resolution of Fuka's heart has awakened a new persona. Fuka's persona, Lucia, has given rise to Juno. Revelation grants one random enhanced positive effect to all allies. There you are. Oh, what are you all doing here? It is unusual to find you up on the rooftop. Well, we didn't see you around, so we weren't sure if you were all right. I think I figured it out. Okay. I've made up my mind. I'm going to do everything I can with the power I've been given. This is what I've decided I want to do. Um, sure? <laughs> Sorry. I guess that was out of nowhere, wasn't it? Uh, you sure you're all right? <laughs> all right. Class has ended. I guess Fuka isn't available. Hey, man. Poor Omaru wants to do something, but... Yeah, we'll probably have to finish up No Zomi. Just get that done. But we will do that next episode. We'll go ahead and stop here for now. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.